Hey everybody, I hope everyone's having an awesome day. I'm Prublina Hassett, Leading Intuitive Business Strategist and Women's Transformation Catalyst. And I love to help women to really package their brilliance, to delve deep into their soul work, into who they truly are, and to bring forward that expression in the world. Um, and to package and share those gifts in a way that is truly transformational for their clients and has them receive divine compensation. So I've been in some kind of gestation, I would say, for the last little while, or even really, you know, if I look beyond for the last, you know, kind of six to eight months, and um, birthing new projects. And this really came up, this topic of birthing came up a lot for me over the weekend because I... I attended over the weekend a sacred drum workshop and woven through the teachings um, was this real recognition of birth, like our own birth story and how that relates to the way that we birth creative projects, businesses, etc. in the world. And while I feel like I'm only kind of just at the precipice of the beginning of the integration of some of this information, um, you know, I, I am so interested and I can't wait to share more with you about this connection with birth story and how it impacts our ability and the way that we birth new projects and businesses, etc. in our lives. So um, I'll definitely be, as things, things integrate for me, I'll definitely be sharing it more with you um, probably later this week. So that will be fun because I'm just slightly blown away by all of this. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk today about birthing really in the divine feminine way because so much of my life I spent birthing in a very different way, in a very masculine way, and in a way where, you know, I had to reach certain criteria and I, I had to um, do it in a certain time frame and it had to look a certain way and usually I had to do it by myself and there was usually force and push and, you know, right, this real kind of sense of urgency and like, kind of thing this overlay and for me now it's a very different story and it's interesting to for me to reflect on that and to see how things have shifted and how things have changed over time so um, over over the weekend and over this last period of time I have some exciting things birthing by the way <laughs> a the sacred drum that I made over the weekend is birthing it's um, drying out and I'll be able to play it in about a week's time so I'm I'm super excited about that um, and if anyone wants the details for the woman who I learnt from I'd be more than happy to share those uh, she is generally in Victoria uh, but she does travel and do uh, workshops around Australia so you can potentially connect in and find out when the next one's going to be in your area and if you're overseas then I'm sure there's someone else amazing that uh, does this work uh, and very powerful very powerful work I remember when I was um, you know a part of what I was doing over the weekend was reflecting about my connection to you know why I chose to want to make a drum and my connection to sound as a sacred tool and I I'm a singer I love to sing I have a ukulele which I play for the purpose of having something to play to sing along to um, I I had a drum kit when I was a kid and you know tortured my family with it and I also went with a group of like eight girlfriends when I still lived in Melbourne and we went and did a djembe drumming class for you know eight weeks or something and it was amazing we had the best time and what I remember from that was being so in the drumming that there was there was no space when we were there when I was there and when I was in that space of drumming there was no room for anything else to be happening in my mind no room at all 
uh, and I loved that. It was like peace. So, and, and back then, <laughs> things were pretty chaotic for me in my mind and, and my emotions. So peace was a, you know, rare commodity. So, uh, yeah, so, and really this connection to this um, kind of tribal sense, you know, I guess the, the drum is kind of like the heartbeat and it has been used in so many different areas, probably in, in all of the older native cultures around the world. So really deeply beautiful work. Um, so yeah, so in wanting to talk about birthing today, the things that I've got coming up that I'm so stoked to be sharing with you, um, one of them is my website, which has been um, in the making for about six months and I'm, and I'm really excited because I've just seen, you know, kind of the final pieces and it's a thing of beauty. And um, another thing is an incredible masterclass series, which I'm going to share a bit more about, um, maybe on Wednesday, share a bit more later this week about what that's all about and, um, and some of the speakers and stuff like that. So watch this space. So in terms of birthing and how we do that in a really divine feminine way, um, some of the things, some of the topics that really, really came present for me were this sense of trust. So having trust that we are firstly a connection to our intuition so that there's that trust that what we are choosing to do and where we're choosing to focus our energy is worthwhile and is of our part, our soul path. You know, it is on the path to where we want to go to our highest good, to our evolution. Um, so there's that sense of intuition and that sense of trust that comes with the divine feminine way of birthing. There's also this sense of surrender, you know, this sense of doing the actions that we know we need to take that are aligned with our intuition and then surrendering and being okay with how it pans out because we know that we have put in absolutely what is necessary for us. So there's that sense of surrender. There's also this sense of flow. So, you know, going with the flow and being flexible, which is something that we get to do in, as women when we have a beautiful structure, when we have a soft structure in place, we then have this freedom and flexibility and spaciousness within that to be able to flow amongst it and be able to, you know, move and pivot as we wish and as feels good for us and continue to follow that intuitive pathway. Now, some of the other um, things that came up for me when I was considering birthing and you know some of the themes is this sense of having support you know this sense of having a a midwife and other support around us when we're birthing projects so that's not just um you know human support we have support from the divine from our connection to source or god or whatever it is that you believe in we have that connection that we can um use as really beautiful support we also have you know you have this community um you know you have me in this community and you know jump in when you're birthing something or you know you want to share a part of something when you get to that point where it's it's safe and it feels good to share a part of it then jump in and do it we would love to support you there's nothing i love more <laughs> than supporting um women who are you know on the journey of creating themselves and, and sharing their soul work in this world. And uh, so the support comes from others, it comes from the divine, it comes from ourselves. And it can also come from, you know, a, a midwife or a coach or, you know, someone that's going to really deeply and beautifully hold you in that sacred container while you're birthing and be able to really provide a beautiful soft structure for you to flow within. So there's some of the aspects and I would love to hear about, hey Lauren, how did you go? How did you go with your talk? Let me know. I would love to hear about what it is that um, you're birthing at the moment or what's, what's gestating, you know, if it feels safe to share because often, 
you know, we can start with these seeds and, um, you know, there's this sense of protecting and mothering of this seed um, that can happen for a while before it feels okay or safe to share it and invite some level or any level of feedback. So if it feels safe for you and if it feels like something that you would love to do, I would love for you to share what it is that's gestating for you at the moment, what it is that you're birthing in your creative projects, um, in your business, you know, let us know, let us, you know, celebrate and just really invite this energy of motivation and inspiration because it's such a beautiful thing. So Lauren said, I earned a ribbon. It went better than I thought. Yay. Good on you. That's so awesome. So awesome. Really happy for you. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I would love to invite you to share whatever it is that you're birthing at the moment. Or if you have something new that you would like to share with the community, drop it in the comments below and, um, let invite people to you know have access to whatever that is and I would love to invite you if you are really feeling this sense like you are so ready to birth your next project and you or or to birth your sacred soul work in this world to birth your business and you are just like I want support I'm sick of doing it my own, you know, like me for years. I was like, oh, I've got this, you know, I can do everything. No, we're not meant to do it alone. I, at the moment, that's one of the other things at the moment, I have this incredible team of beautiful women that are supporting me in my business to bring my creative projects forward. And I can't tell you how freaking amazing it feels to be supported in that way and to not be doing it alone. So if you would love to have some support, if you would love to um, jump on a call with one, me or one of my advisors and find out, you know, really map out a strategy together about, um, you know, what your gaps are maybe and where you want to go so that you can really deeply feel that sense of feminine uh, support and that divine uh, surrender into birthing in the feminine way, then I invite you to book in a call. You can do that at ceopriestesschat.com. Uh, the link will be in the description for this video. And we would love to support you. We would love to. Even if it's, you know, there's no hard sales at all. There's no pushy, no pushiness, no hard sales. It's divine, juicy conversation. And even if that's all that happens, that is totally fine. And we are um, joyed, enjoyed, joyful to be supporting you in that way. So jump in and book and we really look forward to connecting with you soon. So I'm sending you so much love. Lauren says... What do you say, Lauren? Oh, I'm on my phone. How do I do that? Uh, uh, uh. I know what I need to work on and I'm practicing singing in order to project my voice more. Yes. The next few assignments are quite a wallop. I'm involved in enough right now. I'm also developing prophetic abilities. Wow. I'm thinking about joining Grant Baldwin's class on making public speaking a career. Fantastic, Lauren. It sounds wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful to have you share in the community last week to, to share your talk on confidence. And I'm so excited to hear that it went really well. Um, so sending you love and sending you all love today. And uh, until we speak again, bye-bye.